Hello there guys, HD Mr. Gameplay here and we're back again with the second part of the infamy of um, the DLC from Assassin's Creed 3 being the tyranny of King Washington. Um, if you haven't checked out the first part already, make sure you go and see that first because it does follow on obviously, it's one big story. Um, so guys, this is, like I say, the second part. Now, there are bits where you might notice I suddenly get more ammo pouches or whatever, that's because you can free roam in between, you can find chests and unlock them and do little challenges and stuff, so if anything suddenly changes, that's why. But anyway, I'll leave you with that, and I hope you enjoy this part, and I'll talk to you at the end. He is awake. Where are we? A safe place, by the grace of your brothers. The village. King George burned it. It was after your mother. Your stubborn mother. Where is she? She did not listen, and now she is dead. You take the news well. It is something that I knew, that I know. But Commander Washington, the revolution, how did this come to be? No one knows how King Washington came to possess the scepter. But now that he has it, no one can stop him. We were surviving, staying out of his way. Yet your mother tried to steal it from him. And that just angered him more. Now, our king are dead. And the people of the frontier are murdered and imprisoned. How did we survive? By the strength granted us. By the great willow. The strength you now must find. But my mother, she said... Your mother was a fool, full of ideals and bullheaded. Now that King George's power has been threatened, he is making slaves of everyone! Redonagedon, it falls to you to make good on your mother's mistake. Journey to the Great Willow, climb her, retrieve the virgin boughs in her canopy, drink their essence and gain the power to fight. To bring down this mad King George. What power? Gather your strength, and I will show you. <sighs> you are ready. Great Willow, at the top of the mountain. Yes. I will return with the boughs and perhaps some fresh meat to cook. Oh, never mind the meat. Just bring back the branches, boil them in water, and drink the tea. Only then will you be ready to return and fight back with your brothers. Drink her strength. Become one of us. Leave no tracks leading here upon your return. Go! I will meet you at the Red Willow Tree. On your own now. How dangerous is it? Each journey to the Sky World is unlike any other. For some, it is very dangerous. You will find your answers are at the very top of the willow.
I am sorry, Mother. I must speak to Washington to make sense of this. It is the only way.
Was it just a dream? Could I... Could I actually... You best stop moving. My tomahawk. They have taken it. I shall enjoy getting it back. Ha! You won't seek us that way! No one can stop me with such a power. Would you think you can escape us? What happened here?
Lord Longedon. I am happy to see you. Hello, my friend. Have you seen my brother? I last saw him just before I climbed the Red Willow Tree. We were tracking blue coats and lost sight of each other. I am worried that he is captured. I fear you may be right. Was your sky journey successful? Very successful. Perhaps you can join me in the search for my brother. Any secrets you learn from your journey may be very useful. Such a great warrior must not be lost to us. Of course I will help you. there. Last I saw my brother, he was right around here. This old man's body is still warm. In this weather, it cannot be more than two hours since he died. During your sky journey, tell me, what animal called to you? It is difficult to talk about, but I was fortunate to meet the wolf. You journey to a powerful place. You are fortunate. Perhaps. This fire is still smoking. They were just here. certain that he was here. After the fight, the prisoners were marched up the hill. You seem to have the nose of the wolves. Spirit animal. I feel. I see that I was right. Your sky journey has given you a powerful gift. I am certain it will help our search. What do you want with me? I didn't do nothing. I wasn't hurting nobody, just hunting deer. The mother fellas is who you want. What others? Bunch of shoulders. No. Nasty fellers. So I'm rounding up engines over yonder. One of the braves. Did he have a hand marked on his face? You mean like a big tattoo across his chin? Yeah, I seen that fella with him. Hard to miss. Take us to this camp. Uh, sure. Sure. Whatever you gentlemen want. Use them. 
Help me! Seven! Oh. For the love of the king! Help! Someone help me! The king can kill me! Too far, I say. Jones is stomping. Brother, my brother. I knew you'd find us. It's thanks to Radon Hagedon. Radon Hagedon. We will make sure that these people are taken care of. You should return to the clan mother. She will want to hear of our adventure. So there you go, guys. That's the end of my second part of the infamy. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It was pretty good. It's odd that you get sort of. I wouldn't call them superpowers, but they're more like animus abilities, I'm going to call them, because they're obviously sort of glitch kind of things. It's all to do with... The whole thing's fake, like, in this reality, so I can understand it, and I do think it gives a good touch to the game. It's brand new style, and I think it's pretty awesome, if I'm honest. So, guys, uh, that is the end of part two. Like I say, make sure you come back for part three, which is the last part of the infamy. So I'll see you then, guys.